Now today I'm going to be showing you something to watch for after you add headers on your C10 that can affect your safety and your performance. So let's take a look. Now this is going to be kind of hard to see. This one's more stock than the other one that I have. See I've already added the headers. One thing to watch for is you can see those lines right there and how close they actually come to a set of headers. Now that right there can be a problem. Heat radiates, start getting that line hot, which, no surprising, fuel line. So, now, there's obviously more than one line, and a brake line, and the other one is also for fuel, which obviously some have the fuel return line, which this one does not. And then, of course, the EVAT canister over on the driver's side does go this way as well. So you can have multiple fuel lines as well as a brake line running this way right by the headers. Now I have had in the past a couple trucks that the transmission line would actually come along this way and up straight up to the radiator here. And that may not be a factory, that may be someone changing the transmission lines at some point in the truck's life and rerouting them this way instead of going down this way between the pan, oil pan and the cross member and up and around this way. Alright, now this one is on my daily. You can see nothing there. All lines have been tucked up inside the frame rail. Now at one point I did have to change the fuel line after I bought the truck. So I went ahead and tucked it up underneath there as close as I could. And there's plenty of room under here for the lines actually to tuck up. And you see without the shroud on this one you can see that I did leave this line right here that went to the EVAP. And then you can see the brake lines running this way. Now one does just go right here, but the other goes to the back. So, getting them tucked out of the way is just better because obviously, like I've said, headers radiate heat, even ceramic coated slightly does. Not as bad as the others, ceramic coating is a lot better at keeping heat in. But you don't want your fuel lines to get hot and lose performance. You don't want your brake lines to start getting hot and start to get some brake fade, lose some brakes. Also, you don't want anything to happen to a fuel line that close to headers. It could be a safety issue as well. Now, if you're doing frame off build, there's no reason why you couldn't just go ahead and run the lines right through that frame rail, change them up a little bit. Also, if you're going from stock exhaust to headers, once you get the exhaust manifold off, you got a lot of room there to get up inside there and actually play around with the lines and move them around pretty easy. Pretty much, to me, there's no reason not to move those lines out of the way. Now I hope this video proved helpful, and as always, thanks for watching.